Hello, hello everybody. Erica here with All Things Parks and we are back. The Haunted Mansion ghost told us to hurry back and we did just that. So me and Andrew actually went back home to Chicago. It was our nephew's birthday. Now we have been known to make pretty awesome baked goods and we usually are in charge of making his birthday cake. So this year we did not want to miss out on that opportunity. Two of our favorite cakes that we have made for him was an awesome Toy Story cake for his third birthday. It had a layer of Woody, a layer of Buzz, and it had some pretty cool Legos and monkeys in a barrel that were all edible. But our all time favorite cake that we've made him was his Finding Nemo cake. And he is still a super huge fan of Finding Nemo as well as aquariums. Him and his grandpa Mark have a lobster named Pincher. So I thought to continue his birthday celebration, I would come to Epcot today, show him the aquariums over at Living with the Seas. But while I was also home, celebrated my birthday and I have yet to have the opportunity to celebrate here at Disney. So I wanted to head to my favorite park, Epcot, to my favorite place at Epcot and that is La Cava because they have a new margarita that I have yet to try. So we have a double birthday bash here at Epcot. Let's get it started. First up, the seas with Nemo and friends. If you do not want to go on the ride itself, there is an entrance, so you just gotta walk all the way around and you'll go through this nice set of doors here. First up, let's check out the manatees. Now this guy was rescued. You can tell as he comes by, half his tail there is cut off. He was actually featured on the Animal Kingdom show on Disney Plus, so pretty neat if you haven't checked it out. To help with social distancing, they have an up staircase and then a down staircase. And this is going to give us some good views of the huge aquarium that if you've eaten at the Coral Reef restaurant, you can look in at. But if you do come to Living with the Seas, you actually get a whole wraparound view of it. And this tank can actually fit the entire spaceship Earth inside of it. Headed Mickey. There it is, the sea turtle. And this is the dolphin tank. Here comes one. Now that we are leaving, we go down the downstairs. Shark World is still closed. That was always a fun place uh, to hang out on, take good photo ops with Bruce there. And Turtle Talk with Crush is also closed, but what is not closed is the Seas with Nemo and Friends. This is the Seas with Nemo and Friends. And honestly, the line queue is a lot better than the actual ride itself. So I guess we'll just go on it.
So basically, we start on the beach and pretty soon we're gonna submerge underwater into the beautiful land of coral reefs and fish friends. Now we're under the pier. I hear the seagulls. Yeah, this is the best part of the ride. This is definitely the best part of the ride. The floor looks like the water and you see all the piers. And then you arrive and it is a clam ride. Very similar to Little Mermaid, but instead of so many animatronics, it is actually a lot of screens. And this is what I look like inside of a show. Here is the anemone. Also have some Finding Nemo merchandise. A lot of mine, mine, mine stuff. We have a nice canteen there, some kitchen towels, even some socks, a sweatshirt, as well as a beach towel. This is fun. This is on the pier over at Pixar Pier in Disneyland or California Adventure. We have an ornament there, a nice little shirt, magic band. It's totally awesome. A squishy shirt, some more mine, mine, mine shirts. Even a little onesie for a hangry little fellow. mug what's it say dude more mine stuff and some salt and pepper shakers very nice that is going to be a wrap at the seas with nemo and friends but we had a very big blue world kind of celebration for jonathan so happy birthday again johnny now it is time to celebrate auntie's birthday we're gonna go do that in mexico let's go how gorgeous is the Imagination Pavilion at sunset with the flowers still for Flower and Garden. Looks absolutely beautiful. The only thing that would make this shot more beautiful is if Captain EO was playing. We have made it to Mexico. And again, there are those two lines. I've featured this before. One, just to get into the shots as well as the Grand Fiesta tour. And the second one is gonna wrap around the right side of the building here and going through the back and that's our secret passage to margaritas all right jokes on me they've actually merged the two lines back together so we are in the same line which means it might be a little bit longer until margarita time we have made it into the cave of wonders la cap yep that's the one yeah, there's the 
Agave gin and passion fruit liqueur. It's really delicious and it's not super sweet because there's absolutely no mixer. But what you taste initially is that passion fruit liqueur and then the aftertaste of that gin. So it kind of dries everything out and it's super smooth, just the littlest hint on the back of your tongue is the mezcal. This is an absolutely amazing margarita. It was $27. It is worth the show, not only because it's amazing drink, amazing show. You get a souvenir cup and everyone here should know by now, I am a sucker for souvenir cups. And now I finally have one with my favorite bar here at Epcot and I am super, super excited. So cheers to me. Happy birthday to another year around the sun. That is going to be a wrap on Mexico, but the World Showcase celebration is still young. So we're gonna hang out back here in the World Showcase and see what new things we can find in terms of food, drink, merchandise, and on our way out, we absolutely have to stop at Mouse Gears because I haven't Disney shopped for two weeks and there's probably a lot of new merchandise, especially at Mouse Gears. If you ever saw on property, look at that sunset over Canada right now. It's gonna be a beautiful walk around the World Showcase. Made it all the way to China. All the way back there is actually the line queue start for Frozen Ever After. It's a little bit longer than usual. Over at the Joy of Tea here in China, they have the Tipsy Ducks in Love, which is bourbon, coffee, black tea, cream and chocolate syrup. It is amazing and I think it should be another beverage that I have on my birthday celebration. How cute are those little panda bears come with a little bamboo straw. Here is the tipsy duck. It's so good. It tastes like a mocha frappuccino with the slightest hint of bourbon. We have wrapped up over in China. We're gonna actually sprint ahead over to Italy because I wanna see if we can catch the sunset on my favorite bridge. This is the little festival market they have set up for dapper days that occurred this weekend. Look at all of these cute dapper dresses and outfits. Look, they even have a scarf here for the tiki room. Oh, that skirt is screaming my name. Very cute. So if you didn't have an outfit coming into Dapper Days, there was absolutely no excuse because you could have stopped at the festival market. I love that bag with the spaceship Earth. Dapper day, it says. Super cute. Ooh, they even have an Epcot scarf. Now that is amazing. Some cosmetic bags. Wow. An umbrella. Another umbrella, a third umbrella, some fans. Wow, this stuff's cute. And oh, 10 years style of Dapper Day. Some pins. Now our sprint to Italy will continue. 
We made it just in the nick of time here at St. Mark's Square. We can hear the band over at the America Pavilion. Beautiful sunset right there. And there's beautiful Spaceship Earth. Why not just go the whole 360? Best location in the World Showcase in my opinion and my opinion matters a lot. Do you hear that? That's Illuminations free music. Check out the view of the moon over St. Mark's Square. Absolutely beautiful. Huge tonight. Another amazing view at this time of night is over in Paris, looking over the Skyliner. You can see a little bit of the beach club, the friendship boats, which is nice to watch the Skyliner over here. Lots of lights going on at the barges. I mean, all the way around World Showcase, so back up front by the shops and the arms were just moving up and down so they're definitely working on those a lot the outside ones look like they're all right for now but lots of action going on here i had a very fun trip around the world showcase and now it is time to head on over to mouse Gears and see if there is any new merchandise that i missed while i was back home and i guarantee you there was something because i know for sure there's a mug that's screaming my name Let's go check it out. This is my first time in a Disney store in two weeks. It's about to be crazy. That's a new shirt, the green one right there. Also forever your Mickey, forever your Minnie. New shirts, the home one, it's been around. New leggings. New shirt. New shirt. These are semi new leggings, but I've seen them before. These are so fun. It's a hats polo as well as a monorail polo. All the different color monorails. Dalmatian shirt. Sebastian shirt. This is a new top and it has a nice tie on the side there. Different color, same shirt. Two different colors, same shirt. New ears and they do light up. Oh boy, I love these. Oh boy, do I love these. These are pajama pants, and I think these go with the blue shirt that we saw earlier. This shirt, I think those go. These are new shorts also. This is new, tie-dye collection. Not the biggest fan of tie-dye, but I do like the logo. I like that retro logo. These are not new, but it is Mother's Day that's approaching and my mom is a Disney mom. So if you wanted to get something for your Disney mom, you get her this shirt, this shirt, or this shirt. This one's a cop top. That's a new water bottle. They have had this Buzz spatula for a while, but this Rex, an alien spatula, new, love it. Mickey Mouse cookie cutter set. Say that five times fast. It's new. $20. Something to think about for Andrew. A few other new cookie cutters. This is new and very cute. This is new. There was a lot of new merchandise inside of Mouse Gears. Unfortunately, I was looking for a monorail coffee mug. And one of my good friends from back home, huge Disney fan, she was looking for the same monorail coffee mug. She is not going to believe that they did not have it, but this is proof that they did not have it. I didn't come home with one. I have two hands showing. And we're gonna head up front and see the light show and see what's going on by Spaceship Earth. Found an awesome glimpse of the moon there in between the trees. 
but they have added lights all around the entranceway here by Spaceship Earth. We have it color coordinated with the colors in the pilars here. Uh, beautiful music playing, so all the feels really going on. Even the sidewalk or the walkway here is lighting up. And right now it's all blue. I'm hoping that it starts changing colors here soon. So beautiful there's something so magical about epcot well that was an awesome birthday celebration here at epcot today so thank you so much for joining we really did miss disney world at least i did and i want to thank you guys so much for coming along with me today that margarita was awesome i got the souvenir cup and you know i'm going home and making another one so until next time we'll catch you in a park here soon bye